Hey guys, welcome to a new series. Oh, well, welcome to the first series, rather, and only series, hopefully, of Elite Dangerous. Game came out. Actually, I don't know. I don't know when it came out. A few weeks ago, maybe. Perhaps, probably. Uh, I've been watching a few people, namely Dawn TV and Blitzkrieg. I might link them in the description if I remember. Link them in the description, Simon. Future Simon. <laughs> oh dear, but. Uh, now let's get on with this, shall we? I'm playing with a controller. So let's do that then, shall we? Let's go to new commander. Commandment. Random federal system, which seems to be the same system every time. Oh, I just realised that probably going to be a bit laggy. Oh, Zeke's online, apparently. Because I'm uploading. But it shouldn't be too long. My save I have cleared many times. Now, and everything should be on perfectly. Plot gender. I think I'm going to go female. Why not? Sure. Sure. I'm not actually... <laughs> okay, so let's start. Loading game, indeed. Should we do open play? Yes, indeed, we shall. I'm hoping we can get a full 60 frames per second out of this. Okay, so if you can hear the dog in the background, I do apologise. I have the window shut. I really want the window open because it's quite warm, but whatever. But I'm, I'm, it's going to be a pseudo tutorial this series because, to be honest with you, I'm also learning still. So, 360 controller here. Uh, I haven't changed any buttons, so if you hold X, you can make it so that it's a toggle. And you use the D-pad to move about. Uh, left, whoops. Okay, well, left takes you to here. Just a minute, let me uh, turn on. What the? Is that? Oh, there we go, yeah. The only change is really you've got boobs. Okay, well that makes sense I suppose. Hold X and to the left you've got the contacts, transactions and navigation area which tells you where they are you're in the Trevic Thick Dock system which you usually do do actually when you load up. And this side is the areas. Let's put the basic scanner on to two shall we. Basic scanner is what you scan stuff with and this is lasers where you fire things with. Right, since you load up in a dock let's see if there's any services that our guys want us to do. Bulletin board, anything? Make what you will. Is that scrap? This is scrap, yeah. So, two quantity, let's take scrap to the Hartsfield plant in Potriti. Potriti, yes, indeed. Sure, let's do that. Clearance means closure. What's this then? A black box. This is actually illegal. It takes two hours. So, let's do that then, shall we? We'll also do that. We can't do these yet because we don't have the. I'm out, and yeah, we, we can't take 39 bits of scrap, which is unfortunate. Right, let's head to the launch pit. We need scrap for repurposing. Where is this? The poor treaty system. Let's head to the poor treaty system. Uh, if you're using a controller, by the way, to um, control this, you need to use the D-pad rather than the analog stick and the uh, RB and LB. We're going to the poor treaty system, aren't we? Yeah, something like that. Right down to the bottom is the Potriti system. We have too much. That means we <coughs> we have excess mass, uh, which leads me to believe that we probably can't take this. Where is the Potriti system? Ah, which means that we need two jumps. We are currently here. We need to go to here and then to here. So what we need to do, we need to set plot route there, head on to... Access in system. It's lagging a little bit here because I am uploading, like I said. So this, this is a metal plant. Can I do refueling here? Refuel, yeah. So if we want to, we want to go to there. I wonder if we can set this as our destination. I don't think we can. If you want to do mouse look, by the way, it's the middle mouse. It's the middle right analog stick. If you click it in, you can do mouse look. Click it again, and it automatically goes there. Right. So what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to head over to Irovert, which is this one, and then head over to Portriti. We can't go there straight away because we don't, we've got too much mass. So, let's return to the surface. We could have just pressed launch and it would have automatically done that, but uh, let's just return to the surface. I'm not sure if the pre-fright checks... You know what, let's do pre-fright checks, just so that you know we're going to be doing this. Uh, pre-fright checks, okay. Probably the first time when you do this, this will actually open. This will actually do. Right, the pre-fright checks aren't actually working because I think we 
did it beforehand. That's fine. Basically what it will do, you'll come up here and then you'll have just... Uh, I don't have the mouse. But on the left side, you'll have like uh, buttons that you need to press as a pre fright check. So I was like, well, and uh, make sure you actually turn your uh, uh, acce uh, acceleration to off. Otherwise, you might go fist forward into the into the. Oh, there we go. Pre fright check. Here we go. Yeah. So basically, it just means that it just wants you to do a load of these. Okay, so it's pitch down, which is that. Pitch, pitch down, like that. Throttle up, it wants you to do. Throttle down. Gear test, there we go. Test Y, R, X. Okay, there we go. I'm setting my velocity to zero. Indeed. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to press this. Escape, that is. Go to options, go to controls. And there's a few things that you want to do. You need to go down to... Okay, go down to here first, set speed to zero. I've got these numpads set up, just in case I want to do that manually. And also you want to go to... Where are we? I can never find these. There needs to be a search function. Defin ah, here it is. Enable frame shift charge. That's the one you want. J and K. I was going to use L, but that's landing gear as well. So uh, you, uh, I, might, I might change that to something different. When you've been... Uh, when you've been disengaged, get rid of the landing gear with L. And press up on the right keypad on the right um, analog stick. Is anything above us? There is not. So, just to the left of the um, of the radar, right in the middle, left above it, is the target system. I'm I'm uh, going to put like two. There we go. And what you want to do, you want to get it so that the blue dot, blue dot. Make sure the dot. If uh, let's set my to zero. Speed to zero. If you're on the opposite side, it becomes a hollow dot. And you're literally on the opposite side. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. This game is beautiful. It really is. Let's get over here. Da, 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 da. Right, as you can see, the bottom right hand corner, we, uh, we're mass locked, which means we are next to something rather heavy, which most likely is the uh, that thing there. So let's get rid of that. Let's put our turn to about 50%. Before we go any further, you'll notice that just next to where it says mass locked at the bottom right there, you'll see uh, energy systems and weapons. Now, you can change this using the D-pad on your 360 remote. Pressing left puts it into system. As you can see, we are slowing down because our en uh, engines didn't have enough. Going to right goes to weapons and up it puts into engine. I'm going to reset it, put them all into engine and put the rest into system because we don't really need a uh, weapon system. At the As you can see, we're not mass locked anymore, which is quite nice. Right, let's press J to start our frame sh uh, the frame shift drive, and let's speed up as much as we can. As you can see, it's going to take a year if we go at this speed, which is not what we're going to be doing. Now, most of the time, the frame shift will not act if you've got a target, which we did have. The frame shift will not go until you are actually looking at the target. Which is really nice, really. When you think about it. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a sip of my drink. <laughs> you will come out of the frame shift drive looking at the sun. Which is lovely. Let's do some scanning. We don't need to scan it, really. I mean, we already know what it looks like. There we go. Proximity, yes. It says, ah, oh, you're a bit close, aren't you? And we're fine. All right. Let's head into this again. And let's go to the Adralis system. Lock destination. You could also lock destination and engage hyperdrive. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I don't want to. So, I'm hoping that it's not... Okay, we are... We are... Mm, okay, we should probably maybe get out of the way of the sun first, don't you think? Now, we've still got hyperdrive on. I think it's actually... It's not hyperdrive. It's uh, cruise drive or something like that. Cruise drive. There's three different types of speeds, I think. One of them is normal, which go, which is uh, the speed where it says C there would be up to about 500, maybe, depending on how your speeds. This is cruise drive, I think it's called. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just ask? Options. Controls. 
da, 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 da. we have wherever it is okay super cruise is what we want and hyperspace yeah normal super cruise and hyperspace super cruise is what we're on at the minute we're going 20 times the speed of light still uh still gonna take us quite a while is that but you know what fuck that shit Let's charge our frameshift drive. And as you can see by the bottom right there, our fuel usage is about one bar. And... Here we go. Hi, hyperspace here, as you can see. Uh, it's very fast. I love how it... Um, the speed just... It, it it just doesn't know the speed. I really whoa! Hi there, son. How you doing? Okay, let's t let's change it to about one. Discover new objects. Oh, that means that I don't think we've actually explored this space yet. So let's uh, let's target the sun here. Let's scan it. Discover three new astronomy astronomical objects, which means that we found three new things in here. So let's go to the system map. Unexplored and Hartsfield plan. That's the one we want to go to, actually. Indeed. Okay. So let's get out again. Let's go to the Unexplored. Unexplored. We'll, go, we'll come to the uh, signal source in a bit. Let's go to the Hartsfield plan lock destination. Let's look for it, shall we? It is just up here. How far is it away? 165 light years, light seconds away. Let's go to about that speed. Yeah, let's put it about half our speed then, shall we? There's another guy just there. See that? Uh, see that dot? That's another guy uh, going to that this uh, this space here. Can maybe go a little bit faster, but I don't think we need to. At about 20, I'm going to slow down. See, we're slowing down quite a bit here. We don't want to overshoot it. That would be pretty bad. You have to be very careful. You can overshoot things, and it does get a little bit annoying sometimes, but... Uh... Alright, we're at uh, a nice speed here now. Once we get to uh, a reasonable distance... Let's get a bit, little bit faster, actually, so we can get there quicker. Slow down a little bit. If it says slow down, it will say slow down, and it wants you to slow down. We have something. We have something locked here. That's Hartsfield plant is our target here, and eventually, I think it about 0.5 light seconds, it will say uh, target locked. Maybe if we turn up the speed a little bit. Okay, let's do that again. I think it may be 0.25. 0.2, I think, is the. Uh... No, apparently not. All right. Well. Maybe 10 million meters? Uh, okay. Well, let's speed up a little bit then. <clears throat> speed up a little bit then. This is a lot slower than I would usually do it, really. We're going really quite slow. There we go. Save disengage ready. If we press J, we will disengage the... Uh, there we go. We'll disengage the hyper, uh, the uh, super cruise drive. You can see we've got a cooldown of the frame shift drive there. We don't want to keep going in. Let's look at the, let's look at this. Yeah. Well, we can't actually scan it from here. I don't think. Can we not scan it? Uh. No, I don't think we can. It's quite annoying, actually, but whatever. Okay, anyway. Oh, that's the sun. Huh, okay, that, that's silly, isn't it? Let's lock destination at the star. At the thing, sorry. Ah, yeah. Let's scan it. Let's 
scanning and we probably get information about this thing by the way back on your there you go federation for treaty 2 okay uh, back on your controller puts away your hard points which are guns and scanner and whatnot and what we'll do let's uh, let's make the plant our destination Let's get to 7.5 kilometers away. What you want to do, you want to go into here, go into contacts, 7.5, docking. docking request granted. And we've been granted, excellent. I mean, there's not, many of that. There's, blah, blah, blah. there's not that many people here. If we head up to it, let's say about three. Which one do we need to go to? Number two. And uh, let's put it up to 100%. So where's two? Two is just at the top here. Into a no-fire zone, so don't fire your weapon. Otherwise, they may fire on you, or you might get a fine, one of the two. Either way, it's not very good. Come up close. I've had a lot of trouble, actually, recently. Docking. All right, Jesus Christ, slow down. Slow down. That was good. To zero. Okay, so let's get upright. There is no really upright in space. It is 3D space, after all. Put a little bit of speed up. Get there eventually. We're only on 10. I don't know what that is. 10 meters per second or something like that? I don't know. Warning, so, gear not deployed. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Landing gear was not deployed. So that was pretty bad. Whoa. What do you want to do at all? Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, we are near the... Um... Little, uh, near, the, near the landing pad now. Thank you. It says there. And it gives you a little bit of a help to um to get there connection oh okay right sorry about that i connect to the internet in a weird way i connect to the internet via my main supply and then the main supply goes to the router uh it's because i don't want to use wi-fi to connect to the internet because it's a pile of shit wi-fi is pretty awful paddle loitering warning Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and sometimes it can actually break, so, yes. I'm wondering, actually, if this is not, uh, pad three. I'm going to go with no, because it is telling me, yes, it is. It's telling me that this is not the pad. Even though it, what the hell? I actually don't know what just happened then. Ugh. Anyway, okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, well, if we go up. Alright, let's have a look down. Let's see where... Where is Pat... Oh, it's over there. Huh, okay. Right. That's funny, actually. Just make sure that you don't uh, go to the pad... That is doing the the, uh, the little sparkly thing because that might not actually be the pad. Annoyingly enough, yeah. See, it was doing that, so I thought it, that was the pad. So apparently, it was not. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into position here. Landing gear not deployed. Thank you. Oh no, wrong way. Okay, so let's deploy landing gear. We want to go back a little bit, and this way. Landing gear deployed. Ah, thank you very much. We're going pretty slow here, that's fine. Proximity detection. Let's head that way a little bit. Let's stop our... This should now automatically clamp us on. And there we go, fantastic. Let's head to the starport surfaces then, shall we? I think we might actually need to go into the hangar to do this, but... Um, bulletin board... Deliver cargo... And give cargo. There we go, we got a nice little bit of money for that. Kremlin light runs. Where do you want to go for there? We need to go to the Walhall terminal in... Cremain? Cremain, yeah. 6.31 uh, 6 light years, we should be okay with that. 
Ah, oh, that's fair enough then. Let's head to repairs. Now we want to repairs. To, uh... No, I think we need to anchor the hangar to do this actually. So I'm going to get some more fuel. Before we do that, actually, let's see how much, mo how much money we've got. It's probably on the other side, actually. Status, modules, harmless, penniless. Yes, we are. We don't have all that much money. We do have 4,000 credits, though, which is nice. And the cargo we have at the minute is natural fibers haulage. Four of them. Okay, great. All right, so, yep, if you will all, thank you very much. Thank you. I may have, that may have been there before. I don't really know. Well, since we're doing that, let's have a look at this one then, shall we? Let's look at uh, salvage black box. We can't really do that from sector Alori sector MCVB27. So let's look for MCVB27 by going at the system, well, not the system map. Sorry, I do apologise. Go to the map here and B27. Uh, I forget what it's called. To be honest with you. Can we? It would be light nice if I could actually see the. Uh... So MCV B27. There's the dog there. Huh? How are you doing, dog? Alry sector. Alry. Okay. Galaxy map. Al. Alry. Okay. Sector. B27. Okay, right, apologies for that. I actually pressed, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the, 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 the Windows button. That's the one. You know, it would be easier, actually. I tried to show you how, to, how you could do that, but instead, let's head to... Oh, sector. Let's see if we can find it in here. There it is. Look, B27. 1.27 light, light, light years from here. That's fine. But we won't do that just yet. We'll do go to the Walholm terminal. Which is in Cremain. Cremain, there it is. Lock destination. Actually, that's lock destination and engage hyperdrive. <laughs> Obviously. But uh, the hyperdrive should be uh, should go once we get out. Okay, we should unlock at the minute. Yep, there we go. Make sure you put your landing gears up. There we go. Let's get up out of the way. Now let's get out of this mass locked problem, shall we? As fast as we can. We don't want to use that much. Uh... But there we go. No, we are no longer mass locked. So let's cream in. Let's jump to. Uh... Jump to frame shift. Ah, hi there. How you doing? 